In a previous video on this channel, I showed you how to make lo-fi girl type beats using AI. Specifically, I showed you how to use Suno to make these beats, which at the time was only available through a Discord server. And it was a pretty frustrating process. You would generate 20 to 30 seconds of a song, try to generate another 30 seconds, stitch them all together, download the song, and then put all the songs together in a video. Well, now the process is a lot simpler. When you generate a song, it automatically creates up to three minutes of the tune. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, head on over to Suno.com. If you don't have an account already, click sign up. It will ask you to continue with your Discord account, a Google account, or Microsoft accounts. I'm going to choose Discord. And they start you off with a certain amount of credits. 50 credits renewed daily. And that gives you about 10 songs. If you want to sell those songs as is, you're going to need a paid plan. But for what we're going to do in this video, the free plan is enough. And I've actually had it topping up for a long time now. So we see 800 credits in the account. On a paid plan, you could create an entire YouTube video worth of songs almost with two to three generations, which is crazy fast. But let's continue here. I'm going to click create with the newest version 3.5. We have an option for instrumental. As far as I'm aware, this was not an option before within Discord. You kind of had to describe to the AI that you didn't want any lyrics. Now it will automatically do that for you. So I'm going to toggle this button. And for the song description, I'm going to write lo-fi hip hop summer vibes. Now, if you were to search lo-fi hip hop on YouTube, I noticed a bunch of things about the top videos. First off, they're generally longer, topping up at around one hour per video. And each of the videos seem to have a theme. So all of the songs relate to that style. This one is relaxing summer lo-fi music. I know it's sponsored, but this channel is kind of doing the same thing. These are beats to relax or study to. This one is Sunday vibes. This one is beats to make you feel positive and peaceful. Chill hop, drive, 90s, deep focus, relaxing, escape the heat. You know, if I was looking for a channel right now for a lo-fi beats video and I was studying for a test, I would try to find something that relates to the exercise or activity that I'm doing. And look at this one. 107 million views in four years. So when I create my first video, I'm going to pick a style of lo-fi. And I don't quite know what summer vibes means. I have an idea it's going to be a little bit upbeat. But let's have the AI take that keyword phrase and create a bunch of songs for that mood. So I'm going to copy this short description. Of course, you can make it much longer. They give you up to 200 characters. But I'm going to save this description because I need to generate multiple songs. And hopefully, when I stitch them together, they flow very nicely. Okay, let's hit create. And right down here, it generates two songs at once. They're calling this Sunset Drive. And they actually do it pretty quickly. Here, it's been about 30 seconds. Each song appears to be five credits. All right, let's click on one of them. It pops up this little PlayStation at the bottom. Kind of looks like Spotify or SoundCloud. I had a problem showing how the song sounds while I'm recording a video. I have the microphone right beside me. So I'm going to point the microphone to the computer speaker. It's not going to sound that great. Don't worry, I'm going to link the full video in the description below. So you can go and check out the sound quality. But this is just to give you an idea of what we're creating. Okay, that first one sounds pretty nice. They all have a staticky sound as is. That's something I've noticed. But it's very chill. It's a little bit upbeat. Let's try the other one. Okay, I'm happy with both of them to start. After the song has completely finished generating, you can click on the three dots right here. 
and it opens up a few menu options. You can extend the song to make it longer. If you used a really long prompt, you can reuse that prompt in a new generation. But it also gives you the option to download either a video file or an audio file of the song. So I'm going to click audio. We don't need the video. It downloads it to your computer. Let's do it for the other song right here. Download audio. I'm going to open up a free video editor called Microsoft Clip Champ. Click create new video, import media. Let's add both of these songs. Both of them turned out to be four minutes, which is awesome. That's a long time for a song. When we were previewing it, it only looked like it was around one minute long. So to get the full song, you need to download it. Let's add both of these in. I'm going to click the plus button. If I want, I can add a fade to the end of each song and to the beginning of each song. That's depending on your style. Let's go back into Suno and generate two more. If I go 60 minutes divided by four, I'm going to need 15 songs to reach one hour for a video, which means I need to do this a few times and hit create. While that's loading, I'm going to open up chat GPT. Let's go explore GPTs. I'm going to find Dolly. Let's start the chat. For the aspect ratio, I'm going to choose widescreen and write digital illustration of a sunny summer day. Let's send this in. And I got something like this. This is perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. I'm going to right click, save image as, go import media, send that in, add it to the video, zoom in a bit so I can start stretching the image. And I'm going to make sure it covers the entire screen. Okay, there we go. Once Sora is available, instead of images, we're going to be able to use videos. I think that's going to look a lot cooler, be a lot more effective for a YouTube video. There are ways to generate animations from an image using something like the Stable Diffusion API. The results are a bit shaky at best, and I don't think it's 100% needed. But if you want to take it to the next level, this is something that you can do. There are some basic effects that you can use. You can slightly pulse the image, a slow zoom in, maybe a slight glitch like this. This is if you really don't want it to be just a still image. I'll leave that creative process up to you. Okay, my two newest songs have finished generating. I'm going to download both of these. There's the one, there's the other. I'm going to add them to the video. This time one was only one minute and 25 seconds. The other one was four minutes. Let's add them to the end of the song. And now I'm going to pause the video, repeat this process until we have one hour. Okay, I finished importing all of the songs and adding them to the video. Each of the audio tracks are faded in and out. I got to just over an hour. Looks like one hour, one minute and 44 seconds. Now I'm going to click export and then 1080p. I've renamed a file lo-fi hip hop sunny summer day. What's nice is that Microsoft ClipChamp has an option to upload directly to YouTube right after it's finished exporting. If you want to save some time, you can connect your YouTube channel, but I'm going to wait till this is fully exported. We'll upload it to YouTube, create a thumbnail and then finish off the video. The video has finished exporting and now I'm uploading it to YouTube. In the meantime, I've done two things. First off, I've generated a title, description, tags, and hashtags using ChatGPT. This will help my video get discovered in the search results. And the exact prompt I used was write an SEO optimized YouTube title, description, tags, and hashtags for a lo-fi hip hop video, one hour long, has a summer sunny day vibe. The tags should all be separated by a comma. This is so that it's easier to copy and paste. I didn't like the original description that they gave me. Too many exclamation marks, too generic. So I asked ChatGPT to rewrite it. I like this description better. So let's start copying this over. There's the title. Here's the description. Let's grab those hashtags. Let's grab these tags and go down to the tag section. Tags don't usually help in discovery, except if your channel is brand new and it doesn't have an audience. This will help the algorithm find the right people for your video. For the thumbnail, I use the free version of Canva. 
I used that image we generated with AI, and then I added some text, lo-fi summer day. I'm gonna download this thumbnail. Let's upload it to the video, make it public, and then publish. If you want to see the final result, I'll leave a link to this video in the description below. If building a business using AI excites you, perhaps you should build a custom AI app. There's a great community with this online course that I've built and designed. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. One more little ad for you. YourAIAgent.com is the web app that I'm building for your businesses. And it includes a few different AI agents with more being added each week. I'll drop a playlist link in the description if any of these AI tasks interest you. One specific one that you could use for a lo-fi hip hop beats channel is the YouTube Responder. This is an AI agent that automatically responds to all of your YouTube channel comments. You can prompt it so that it sounds exactly like you. Come check it out, it might save you some time. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.